Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of linear equations and the distributive property. This is standard A.5a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 29 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have just a pretty basic uh, equation here, and we're looking for the solution. We're looking for w here. So let's open up our graph paper here. All right, so what we're going to be using is something called the distributive property. Now, this is not something that we've learned just in Algebra 1. We've been using it for many, many years. Uh, it's one of the properties of equations like the commutative and the associative, but this is very, very important with linear equations here. And so here's the distributive property in a nutshell. Okay, if you take a quantity A, multiply it by an expression, B plus C, what you could do is you can take that outside quantity and multiply it by each of the terms on the inside. Right, take that A, distribute it to the AB, distribute it to the C, keep Keep watch over the uh, operation because you're going to have to keep that the same. But that's it in a nutshell, right? So that's exactly what we have going on right here. Okay, so we've got this 5, 2w plus 4. Okay, so let me just take that one first. So we're going to take this 5, this is sitting in the a position. Okay, so we're going to distribute it out to both. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it to the 5 and the 2w, and then it also goes to the 4, okay? We have to keep that plus in there. Whatever the operation is, you're going to keep that 5 to the 4. Okay, so these two are equivalent expressions. This is the distributive property in a nutshell, because once you've, you've got something inside that uh, parentheses there, that expression, this 5 is kind of holding you, uh, holding it together, because you're multiplying it and you can't really do anything if you want to move the 2w in or out of that, that those parentheses. You can't do it because that 5 is on the outside of both. But now you've separated the two. Now we can simplify. We can start you know, moving the w around so we can solve this expression. But you've got to get it out of those parentheses. And the distributive property is how we do that. All right, so we've got this 4, 2w plus 9. Do that same thing. Okay, so 4 gets multiplied to the 2w. Keep the operation. 4 gets multiplied by the 9. All right, so we've got our new expression. Let's simplify. So 5 times 2w is going to be 10w. You're just multiplying the, uh, the whole numbers. 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 2w is 8w. And then 4 times 9 is 36, okay? So that's much simpler. Now I could just use my properties of equality to try to bring everything together. I could move the w to either side, but this is what you always want to look at. You always want to keep the w positive. At the end, if it's a negative, you're going to have to end up multiplying, uh, you know, by negative 1 anyways to get it back to a positive. You always want your the number you're looking for, the quantity you're looking for to be positive, right? So let's just go ahead and subtract aw from both sides, right? That's our subtraction property of equality. You could do the same thing to both sides of the equation. I'm going to do that because I want this to be a positive 2w. That's going to cancel out. I could have moved the 10w over to the right, but then it would have been negative 2w. And now you have a negative you have to deal with. So it's just best practice to go ahead and do that. So now I've got 2w plus 20 equals 36. Let's move that over there. Right now I need to move this 20 over. So I'm going to use the inverse operation, plus 20, minus 20. Right, subtract so 20 from both sides. You're going to get 2w equals 16. Okay, and now all we have to do is think inverse operation of the 2 times w. We're going to multiply. That 2 times w is multiply, so we need to divide by 2 both sides, w equals 8, and that is our answer, b.